for taste. It's an excellent choice. What's it all for taste? Break this shit up. Yeah. Welcome back to All for Taste. Today we're going to get one from, uh, this is Goose Island. Goose Island is, uh, from what I understand, is owned by uh, InBev, uh, Anheuser-Busch, basically, so Budweiser and all that. But uh, I, I don't mind their, the, the Goose Island uh, things. This, by the way, is a from a variety pack I got. This is the Hazy Bear Hug. Uh, it's a hazy IPA. Comes in at 6.8 percent by volume. Um, not sure about the IBUs. Uh, but, but, but how many IBUs? I wish they would put that. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't see the IBUs. But if I maybe I, I uh, remember and I'll look it up. I'll put it up here, right up here, somewhere right there. So anyway, uh, today we are drinking out of my Idle Hounds. Um, I think it's an IPA glass, right? Shaped like that. Um, similar to the uh, what's the ones that are. Anyway, uh, oh, New Belgium, New Belgium. Anyway, like I said, Hazy Bear Hug. There's the artwork. It's got a big old purple bear on it with some shades on. Uh, Goose Island Beer Company, born in Chicago, 1988. Okay. Uh, bright, sunshiny haze. It says here, uh, bu -bu -bu, see the bottom of the can for a drink by date. Here we go. Drink by date. It says 25 August 23. Today is uh, May 9th, 23, so plenty of uh, freshness, hopefully. Uh, brewed and packaged by Goose Island Beer Company in Chicago, Illinois, and Fort Collins. Okay. Ba -ba -ba, don't drink if you're pregnant. Don't drive. Ba -ba -ba -ba, drive a car. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, like I said, pop this thing open. There we go. There's the pop, and there it is. Let's go ahead and put it down the middle. I like on these, just go down the middle. See how much head we got straight on down. This is like I said, IPA glass, so it's supposed to kind of help dissipate that, but nope, that's a lot of head. Lots of head. All right, we're gonna be here a while, so uh, hey, maybe we'll just wait a second. I'll be back. All right, we let it go down a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, pour some more up in there. There we go. Let's the pull glass in it. And yep. As you saw, it was a pretty daggum big head, but now look at that. That's a, that's a pretty beer right there. Nice and hazy, like they said it is. Uh, very uh, light amber, very tangerine or orangey flavor uh, uh, color. Very white head though. Usually they're a little bit off white. That's completely white. Tightly packed bubbles, looking good, looking good. Got still got some carbonation going up from top uh, from the bottom. Even though I uh, even though I let it die down. There you go. So there we go. Much better. All right, let's go ahead and smell this. Oh man, that's yeah, grapefruit. So, right off the bat, grapefruit. Yeah, that's, that's a good beer. I haven't had IPAs in quite a while. You know, I've been doing the, kind of trying to stay low carb, so I don't do a lot of IPAs. I, usually during the week, I drink a, uh, well, my, my main beer now is Nick Ultra. I know, say what you want, it's water, but it's it's what it is, 2.6 grams of carbs. Uh, no idea on this is how many carbs, but the, usually IPAs are around 25 or so. So, you know, I try to stay 25-ish all day long. So, but anyway, sometimes I, Sometimes I treat myself, give myself. We got some uh, planes going over. We got some, we're close to Tyndall Air Force Base, Panama City, and we got some kind of uh, what's it called thing exercise going on. So the planes going over like crazy. We got some F-22s and F-35s flying over. Um, not sure that was that was so high I couldn't even see it. So uh, anyway, so if it gets loud, hey, that's the sound of freedom. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, taste this. Taste this. Take this. In. Yeah, taste it. All right, that's good. Now, the hazy, hazy IPAs are kind of like my favorite now. You know how you go through different, uh, I don't know, different phases where you get like the, oh, just just a regular dank IPA was my favorite for a while. I don't like that dank dankness anymore. I don't want it to be so bitter that it, that I can't drink it fast. This one's nice because you got grapefruit taste and all that, and you got some good good IPAs up in there. You got some good bitterness in there from the from the hops, but. You got some fruitiness also you know you gotta i don't know i'm at a point in my life that i want some flavor i don't want just dank i don't want to just be all look at me with my bun in my hair and i drink ipa so i gotta have it dank you know i'll drink that every once in a while but this a nice good good sipping uh ipa when i'm sitting there watching tv or i'm out here in the yard doing something or you know just chillaxing this is good this is a very good one again i know goose island a lot of people are going to down them because they uh, they're owned by um, Anheuser Busch, um, you know the big the big company. But um, 
the sign's pretty good, man. Whenever I go out, if I go out like to a festival or some kind of thing out at the park and they're selling, you know, selling beers out of the, under the tent or whatever, they usually have, they usually have like a Bud, Bud Light or Miller Light, something, something light. And then they have, they usually have one little crafty beer. Um, and a lot of times they have Goose Island, not necessarily this one, but they got just the regular Goose Island. Um, so yeah, you want to say it's not a craft beer because it's a big, a big business or a big, uh, big company, but hey, still good beer. That's a good IPA. Um, so anyway, like I said, hazy. Like I said, it's got the uh, the grapefruit up the back. You got um, a, a pine, um, a nice piney smell. Ah, it's good. It's good. So you find it, go ahead and get it. And like I said, I got the uh, variety pack. We're going to drink a few more of these. I think there's four different ones. Three, three of, three of four. There's four different flavors, three of each. So we're gonna be we're gonna be drinking some of these this week. Um, like I said, Goose Island Beer Company. This is the Hazy Beer Hub. Peace. Choice no matter, don't they? Well, that's that's this choice. It's a hell! Woo! 